I can finally watch Spider opening too now because the spoilers, the incredible spoilers that I should never watch the opening, it's out. Not that it fucking matters because you dumbass monkeys don't know how to contain your excitement. When I ask you questions, I'm not asking you to fucking spoil me. These are rhetorical questions I ask to be to make the content engaging. You motherfuckers are just yapping about like, oh, he doesn't know, he doesn't know. You're so fucking stupid. I have to act like I don't know to make the content seem genuine because you're fucking spoiling me now. Do you know how fucked this is? Anyways, Wakaba is not the demon lord. Wakaba is most likely the 10th squadron leader. And the true demon lord is Admin D because D stands for demon lord. Honestly, I don't really know. We got to see her at the end though and we're finally meeting face to face. Let's what's gonna happen in today's reaction. Okay, where's the timeline? Future or past? Hmm. Damn, look at the spiders. Our forces will be passing through Queen Tartek territory. The, the, our mom, right? Yeah, our mom. Yeah, because she's the origin. She's like the grandma. Look at these. That's you, Admin D? Is that you, D? Wakaba. That's so fucking troll, dude. That's so troll. Oh, there just happens to be one that was like unruly, rebellious, right? And we know that Wakaba is like, you know, running away from mom and mom's trying to chase her down and it suddenly just pans to her and she's petting the fucking spider like... Aww. The L village is next in the future. So like in the future, what are they doing? The... We're trying to get to elf territory by trying to cross the labyrinth first, right? That's what's happening on the human side, right? So we might actually encounter them pretty soon. All right, back to the past. Wait, because she got her head cut off, right? Because she's immortal now. But as in D, or at least a demon lord, just cut her up last episode before we got to fishing, right? Hmm? El World Labyrinth, human party. Yeah, we're born here. I wonder if Faye would ever feel like she, like some kind of like instinct because she is born from this labyrinth, right? I, I'm assuming that she is Araba's child, right? Same earth dragon species. I'm not really sure, but she is from the labyrinth. So will, like, would she instinctively feel like, oh, I'm at home? <laughs> no, it's intentional. Careful, careful. Don't jinx yourself now. Okay. But I thought that it's because the nightmare of the labyrinth scared off all the monsters to run away from the labyrinth, right? Wasn't that what people were saying? That there's like a huge advent escape of monsters from the labyrinth. That's why it's kind of safe right now. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I know she was an egg. I'm just thinking like instinctively, like because she is born as an egg here. Like, I don't know. Labyrinth sickness? Labyrinth sick. Oh, this is like when I go to bed at like six in the morning and wake up at like four p.m. during like when I'm like when I'm unemployed and have no school and I never see the sunlight and I just start to like wonder like is my life real? <laughs> I, I know labyrinth madness. Yeah, I know that. Straight up, even even worse. There was a phase. There's like a little moment during my like um uh, unemployed neat times where. Every day, it'd be like 6 a.m. to like 4 p.m. or some shit, my sleep schedule. Even something worse than that, I would never see the sunlight. And I was also inside, I would never leave the house. So like, my eyesight got fucked up because like, it's important, if you don't know, to look at like distance, right? So like, you, you see my, my place right now here, right? You can see that there's like a depth to the apartment, right? But before where I was living at my place, it was just like a one room. So I basically look at everything in close proximity. And what that does, if you don't look at things further away, it truly fucks your eyes up. I'm really lucky that I have like been, been born with like great genetics for eyes. I never had to have glasses or stuff like that. My vision is still really good. But like there was a time when starts, things were all blurry and getting wonky. And my sense of like perception, it got all fucked up. Especially when I went outside and looked at trees and shit. I'd be like, whoa, what the fuck? But yeah, don't be a neat. <laughs> Okay, you get sick. It's not like made in abyss sickness, but don't rush it. I hope this guy lives, man. He's a Giga Chad. Not gonna lie, I still don't like Faye's new girl design, dude. I prefer Faye to turn back to the dragon. Huh? Who's that? It's my question. 
practice. Appraise! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That's what they say when they do appraisal, but this is Shun's voice, right? Okay. Oh! Dude, what was that? Oh, what? Isn't that the appraisal? That's the, that's the fucking menu, you know, the sound, right? That's what we hear all the time. So let's cook for a second because I don't fucking know where we're going to go with this. We do know that Admin D introduced the system, right? So did Admin D like, um, is this part of the system? And like, she's like kind of stuck here and she's like, you know, she needs to be like stuck here. Have you ever seen Made in Abyss? That's, that might be a better question. If you've seen Made in Abyss season two, you know what I'm talking about. There's like a village, it kind of is like a, a random ass village of operating on different rules. And they had to have this like one girl tied down and make sure she's kind of like, she needs to be there in order for the whole system to work. I don't know. I feel like this girl is obviously the menu voice, but Admin D needs her to be shackled down here so that the system, this game-like thing can happen in this virtual world. I don't know, man, but clearly that is her voice, right? And look at the ears. I'm not sure if the design matters, but other than her just being naked in this empty space, like, does her ears matter? What is that? What is that? What, 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 what is this, right? It looks kind of fancy. It looks like a bird or a dragon, right? It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> Please stop making me say proficiency threshold reads. It hurts. <laughs> okay. Shun, the hero, just happens to have that dream, though. Only the hero. Wait, what do you mean? Are we getting the madness? Yeah, she killed his brother. Legendary class monster. Is this higher than S class? Because they talked about different rankings. Now, legendary could be synonymous with S class. But from what I remember, is this the same or like beyond? Is legendary after legendary? Guys, you saying yes doesn't answer my question. I don't know what you're saying yes to. It's like SS. That's higher. Gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. Legendary. Did you just say born 10 years ago? Wait. Oh, technically it should be 15, but because Wakaba had to train and stuff, it maybe took like five years to be declared legendary. That's what's going on, right? This 10 year timeline isn't actually um, contradicting, right? It's, it's all 15 years they got spawned at the same time, right? Over S rank. As dangerous. No, that's gotta be bullshit. People think that the nightmare already died. So maybe the nightmare of the labyrinth, like dying, has somewhat to do with Okachan believing Wakaba is actually dead. Now, who knows what event happened, right? We still don't know the transformation from Wakaba the Taratech into, you know, that humanoid form as a 10 squadron leader. When does that happen? We'll see in the future. Yeah, have you? Wait, he was there? No, not on Julius Nisama's raid. It was before, right? He's literally the first one to ever see the Nightmare of the Labyrinth. That's right, that's right. Yo, this guy is actually legendary himself. Wait, 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 wait. What is this party? It's, it's a random party, right? It's not you. Yes, it's a random party. Yeah, because Wakaba doesn't... He, she comes in peace, usually. She healed the wounded as well. See, Wakaba, she's chill. She's not trying to, like, kill people. It's just that if you invade my home, then I'm going to, you know, do a little bit of self-defense. She, the nightmare is rescuing, healing. Just don't fuck with her. She did kill your brother, though, Shun. The funniest thing to me right now is how they're talking about the Nightmare, the Labyrinth, you know, the spider, as if it still exists, right? They're still so worried about it. And it's like, don't get your guard out. It's so strong. But they don't even realize, like, so much time has passed since then and she's become even stronger, right? It's, it's fucking crazy. Wonder if the puppet's still here. Did we kill the puppet? I don't think so. I honestly don't remember. I think we did. Hmm. Just have a phoenix plume, bro. Yeah, we drowned the puppet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just run away, bro. That's actually good advice. Oh. Fuck them. Just survive by himself. 
Based, I mean, the hero probably shouldn't do this, but I feel like this guy is absolutely correct. Like, you don't owe them anything. Look out for yourself first. Like, you're not, you're a fucking still a boy, dude. You're not a man. You can't fucking do that yet. I feel like guy is absolutely correct. Sure, are a bunch of people died because Shun ran away? Probably. Is that really his responsibility? I mean, he was given the title hero, but it's not like it was his choice. I don't know. I feel like the guy is partially correct. You should live for yourself. Don't live up to other people's expectation. I, I love this guide, man. Exactly. What do you want to do? Baska Gigached. <laughs> no, you're not. I mean, I know you are, but... Baska was like... Don't worry, because I'm the hero. <laughs> Baska was like... Alright, kid. All right, let's go now. <laughs> Bro does not take the hero seriously. Katya Giet. Uh, that was a gonna be okay line. Uh oh. <laughs> That was the laziest animation I've ever seen to off-screen a fight, but honestly, better than PowerPoint presentations. At least, like, you know, they had, like, a cool scene of different people just showing up one by one. It's a little bit more, you know, fluid and alive than just, like, a PowerPoint presentation of, like, a scene of them fighting, but okay. Just four days. I would take the safe four day, dude. We're entering production hell arc. I noticed that the production value has kind of dropped quite a bit. Oh, this is my home. The Nightmare's Vestige? What? What is it? Other spiders? Okay, then leave them alone. Ah, and if you run into the web, then you're pretty much fucking with them. Invisible webs. Sticky, ooh, they're nice and sticky, yeah? Okay. You see a spider web and you run like hell. That's how the perception of how we treat spiders has changed because of Wakaba. Oh, right! Yeah, you're right! Julius in this party did fight a vestige, you're right! I thought it was Wakaba, it wasn't. It did look like an Ere Sine, huh? Or like a Zoa, whatever the previous forms were, huh? It did, it, like the Wakaba, it was like the... Kind of compact, you know, like the white pink spider shape. Yeah, yeah. Vestiger, all Zoa somethings. I forget. Zoa Ere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the manifestation of death part, right? Oh, I think so. Oh, why? Are you sure? Why is this girl getting the last word? Because she's our elf maid. I said that I don't trust her when I first saw her. We escaped with her. She's a new character that I can introduce in Core 2. She has the final say? What the fuck? Are you sure we should do this? Gonna be okay, guys. Gonna be okay. <laughs> Not ready perfectly. <laughs> uh oh. Well, thanks to her decision, it's gonna get pretty fun now. Maybe a vestige is nearby. Oh. Oh, some big ass pincers. Mm. How strong is it? No way, 3600? Oh, yo, the guy is fighting too? That's hype. That's hype. Wait, phase a fucking Earth Dragon too. Can't like. And then again, Wakaba's also a spider. The, the spider couldn't reason with other spiders. I'm just. I was just thinking like, could Faye like be like, yo, chill, chill. We come in peace. I'm a dragon too. Nah, too quick, too quick, Okasan. Okay, it's got magic resistance due to imperial scales. Okay, lightning resistance as well. Yo, could you imagine if Baska fucking slays this dragon? <laughs> this random guy that I thought was a random guy is actually like a legendary retired adventurer. Just fucking slays the earth dragon. Yo, let Faye fight it. Isn't dragon as super effective on dragons? Faye, get in there. Eat the earth dragon like you did before. Or just punch it. That works too.
Do you guys like this new Faye? Like, um, it was a critical plot point that as soon as Faye returned to her uh, humanoid side, that um, her human face that is actually looking like pre pre previous resurrection looks the same, and her personality, the ego is back. Do you guys like this new Faye? Honestly, I don't really know. She's very cocky all of a sudden. Redemption? I don't feel like this is a redemption arc. I feel like it's any it's the other way around. I feel like when she was just a dragon without knowing like what she was, she was way more humble, way more like, I don't know, just like friendly in nature. And now she's just like a little bratty, kind of like showing off. I don't mind, but I'm just wondering like if you guys enjoy this way. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you cheater. No, she's the beater, guys. Hey, pretty good. Shun, do something. You're the hero. Oh, hero time. Holy light beam. Did he, did, did, did he just shoot that at the dragon's dick? Wait, look at the angle here. Holy light beam. Look at it. He straight up shot at the dragon's dick. Look, maybe it's the belly. What the fuck? That's fucked up, dude! <laughs> Low blow, my man! But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Cool, here's all. Shurain Zaga Level 28 to 29. Um, does he have anything cool? Skill Ultimate Life is level 7. Ultimate Life, that's kinda new, I guess, huh? Obviously, he doesn't have Evolution Pass, right? Oh, killing the dragon gave him Ultimate Life. Oh. Mm. All of everybody did? That's all right, whatever. Yeah, this is like the upper level. What the fuck is the dragon up here? Kind of just foreshadowing that he's gonna die soon. I don't know. He's just saying, like, you know, everybody dies eventually. That's say you're just saying, like, hey, when I go, I'm gonna tell Yulius Nisama that. No, you killed Yulius Nisama. Nah, the 10th squadron, you know, annihilating eye. Yeah, she did that, but I just. I just want to believe that this guy, the shield guy is, you know, I'm being very cautious. Bagat is a dragon slayer now, by the way. Bagat, straight up dragon slayer. Oh, wait. <gasps> Spider! Stay still! Stay still! Stay still and it won't hurt you. Ruler. Ruler class. They can all talk? All the vestige. Why can the vestige talk? <laughs> that is so unnecessary. Hero, you shall, you shall can't appraise, can't appraise, can't appraise. Reincarnation, reincarnation. Weak, 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 weak. <laughs> weak. You why? You why? The vestige knows about the reincarnation. What do you know? Mother. Wakaba, Wakaba. Elf Village, that's where we're gonna meet, right? The world will finally begin and end. I don't know. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna bother telling you the plot because you're gonna die anyways. Hey, maybe, maybe this is true, man. Alright. Interesting. Oh! Gigachamp Bosgoth! Dragon Slayer, by the way. I think this is totally warranted. What ba what Shun just did here is the equivalent of Rudy during Turning Point 2 against meeting... Uh, what's his name? Fuck. What's his name again? What's his name? The Dragon God. Fuck. Orsted. Orsted. Because, like, you know, you sh probably should have sat quiet. Like, you shouldn't have said anything. You could have put the entire party in danger there. You got lucky. We got lucky here and we got away with it. But, you know, you saw what happened in Turning Point 2, man. Exactly. Shun, you fucked up there. But that was very interesting dialogue. Damn. He's just a kid. He doesn't know. <laughs> Giga Chat. No, Baskat, 100% correct. No, no. The reason he's so cautious is why he's still alive and why everyone else is probably gonna die, dude. <laughs> Faye, read the room a little. <laughs> yeah. But what does it mean when everyone dies? Oh, human! Classroom. Which one's Admin D? Which one is Admin D here? It could be any one of them! Oh, 
no, that's Wakaba. That's that's Wakaba right here, right? That 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 that, that was Wakaba, right, 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 in the corner back there. That that's Wakaba, I think, because she's always you know cut her hair down, right? Any other girls? Show me the girls. Spider perspective. See, I knew it. I said in episode one, it really did look like like we were seeing from the perspective of a spider's camera angle when we got fucking nuked. Negishi, that's that's that's, that's vampire. That's vampire. <laughs> What is that dream? What is that dream? He reminds, he remembers the class again and Negishi like wakes him up after going like this. What? Another bad dream. What is with it? With the hero entering the labyrinth and getting all these memories? It's because he's the hero, right? Negishi, vampire. Spooky. Oh, that's, that's a pretty big hole. It's gaping wide. Yeah, yeah. That's the way out, I guess. It was it was a beam attack. One second, guys. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Y'all know what you, you know what's going on. One second. One second. One second. And we're back. Finji coats have been making their nests here. That's pretty annoying. Fucking burn them all down. <laughs> Go, Fei. What? Could you what? She's changing? She's changing. To turn into a dragon. Technically, she's naked now, man. Like, she's naked. What? What? This doesn't matter all of a sudden? Our favorite CGI dragon, man. Yeah, you're riding a girl. <laughs> yes, you're riding on a girl's back. Could you stop making street fantasies? Yeah, read the room, hero. There's a bucket list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hyper beam. And we got out through the mother's hole. Sorry, mother's gaping hole. Sorry, mother blew the gaping hole open. Now, we're supposed to meet, you know, the 10th squadron at the Elf Village, right? What the fuck? Okay, we're back in the past now. We're back in the past now. After we met the Demon Lord. So this is truly the, you know, the power of immortality, huh? It's just, it doesn't matter. Like, okay. Wait, what? You can grow your body back? Wow, auto recovery can actually grow back the limbs? Okay. She kind of is like Deadpool now. <laughs> Why did the Demon Lord do this? <laughs> that was so nonchalant! Hi, Yami Maho. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, hello, Shark. Yep, yep, bye bye. <laughs> That's so casual. So, what, the Demon Lord just cut us up and just left? Like, nothing after that? If you know who shows up. Yeah, what if she cuts you up again? What was the point of this? And now we're dealing with grandmother. I don't know. I, th I think that the demon lord just finds you very interesting. Because, you know, we're terror techs. Mm -hmm. Yep. I wonder if mom made the call for help. I doubt it. Naiwa! Naiwa! She said the line, Naiwa. What? Dissolution of the soul? Abyss magic destroys the soul. Even immortality wouldn't work. <laughs> so I'm immortal, so what? New anime, guys. Honestly, this could be pretty fun. Really? Abyss magic can destroy immortality because it destroys the soul. Okay. Hey, that's another isekai title name. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I think this is an incredibly important mechanic here. Remember how um, when Admin D was talking about the lore? The lore of this world of during the explosion. What happened when the explosion happened right in her classroom? She said that she was able to harvest those souls and basically implant it into, you know, she took the souls and put it into these new reincarnated, you know, bodies, right? 
So I could move my soul into a different body. I mean, that's pretty much what happened here. Wakaba's soul was placed into, I guess, this Tara text, right? Now, then Wakaba talks about parallel minds invading mother. You think this is some way a new mechanic that could let us transcend our spider body and get into 10 squadron body? I don't know. No, now you're not going to stop talking about it. Come and think. No, go back to that mechanic. That was a very interesting line of thought. Whenever they start talking about souls, it's very interesting to me because Ebony specifically said, you know, we were able to get the souls after people died from the explosion and put it here, but... Okay, okay. Yeah, Naiwa indeed, guys. Naiwa. post credit scene. CGI Demon Lord is back! Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I should have killed her. Why is the attack continuing? So the Demon Lord origin granny was doing this to protect mom because mom was under attack by the parallel mind? Immortality. Uh, hello. Wait, 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 wait. What is the order of events? Does Admin D know that she has immortality or not? Does, does, does she have it or not? Because, wait, wait, wait. I, I'm, I'm forgetting. It's been a while since the last spider episode. Fuck. Because we talked to Admin D before. Does she know that we have immortality or not? Admin D at that point. Admin D knows? She does know, right? She monitors her. She should know. So I think this is pretty much conf confirming that, you know, it's like, how, why would she not know, right? Why, why, why would she be surprised that she survived my attack, right? Admin D gave her the immortality? I don't know. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, she did congrats. Okay, yeah, so I'm not wrong. Okay, so, okay, so Admin D is not the demon lord. That's, that's out the window because this pretty much confirms it. All right. More CGI. Wait, what happened? Wait, we invaded the demon lord? Oh? We're in her brain? Oh, she's coming for us now. She coming. And that is another episode of Spider. Goddamn, dude, this fucking show just continues to deliver on the story even though the animation is dropping, which honestly, again, I don't care about animation quality. Like, this could have much worse animation. I would still watch it because what I care about is the story, voice acting, soundtrack. Now, of course, would I want better animation? Absolutely, but it's not going to be the deal breaker for why I don't watch this anime. So what do we learn today? We basically have, we're setting up the the meeting between, you know, the demon lord. I'm not sure if she's going, but 10 squadron leader Wakaba is probably going to go, right, to the elf village. And the vestiges of the nightmares were basically saying that, hey, you know, you're, you're going to meet them pretty soon. The end is soon. Like, you don't even need to know. You're fucking weak. Weak, weak, weak. Reincarnated? UI. Don't worry about it. You're going to meet them pretty soon. So in the elf village, that's where shit's going to go down. And we're kind of building up to that point. Other than that, Shun seems to be having these odd dreams that kind of relates to the past. And I'm not really sure what the dreams are trying to tell us. Spooky was there. That's going to wake us up. I don't fucking know, man. Every time we get those dreams, I'm just looking at every student, especially the girls, to see who could admin D, man. But fuck if I know, man. Fuck if I know. Basgat is a dragon slayer, by the way. This guy, <laughs> legendary guide Basgat, is a dragon slayer, by the way. What a fucking giga chat. I hope he continues to be a giga chat and live. I swear to God, if he fucking sacrifices himself for Shun in the future, I'm gonna fucking lose it. But that's it. We, we're out. Wakaba is regenerating in the ocean. <laughs> because the origin star that came by just cut her up and left, not realizing that she's immortal. She's gonna auto regem. She said that abyss magic affects the soul, but somehow the body was able to infiltrate, you know, the demon lord so effectively. Maybe because we are kin. I don't really know. But next episode, it should be pretty hype. Looks like we're gonna get a Wakaba versus demon lord very soon. And yes, Amin is not the demon lord. That's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.